Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Delmico L. Cunningham, and I wanted to look at rotation inside of Figma today. So you're probably very familiar with being able to get your rectangle tool or any of your shape tools inside of Figma and drag them out. And let's say we want to rotate this. If I, if I rotate this right now, if you see if I grab this and rotate it, it rotates from the center from the center of that object. Well, the problem with Figma is that there's no way to change, at least without plugins or something else, there's not an easy way to change that rotation for this object. But I'm gonna show you a way that you can actually change that. So I'm gonna get my rectangle tool again, and I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna get myself, I'm gonna make myself a one by one square and I'm going to take that square and I'm going to convert this into a component. I'm just going to call this pivot point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this the rectangle that I had before. So I have my original rectangle. I'm going to drag that inside of my pivot point and drag it below this rectangle here. I can actually lock this rectangle. I don't need to I don't need to grab that rectangle. Only thing I really need to grab I'm going to line this up underneath here. So the only thing I need to be able to grab is the actual component. And when I grab this now and rotate this, look at that. So now my pivot point is at the end of my rectangle. So this looks if you look at this this kind of mimics the way that a, that a clock would move, like a radial dial would move. So it gives me that same behavior as a radial dial now. So this is a this is kind of a hack way to be able to get your pivot point where you want to. So you can use a, a one by one square, turn that into a component, and then add whatever artwork you want to that component. Something else I could do, I could actually go ahead and make myself a frame. So I'll just make a frame. And I can take this frame and add it into, into here, and then I could put my artwork inside of that frame and move this back to where I had this at. So this rectangle sitting over there. I'm going to make sure that this is there. So the reason why I would do that with a frame is because now I have an exact place to put additional artwork, right? And honestly, I wouldn't even, I would not even need to be able to move that around. Only thing I need to be able to move is this component that I've made. So I can move this component and I can rotate this and do whatever I want to do with this, which is cool. But by using that component to be the pivot point, that becomes the pivot of whatever art that I add to this. So you can see I could duplicate this and have like hands on a on a clock. As long as as long as I'm grabbing that pivot point and rotating those, you can see they both rotate around that central pivot point, which is pretty handy to be able to do. It's really nice to be able to get, you know, rotational animations going so I could just set a position for an animation. And I don't need to have this visible, right? That square cannot be, it doesn't have to be visible. But that becomes the center point of your rotational values. Just keep that in mind. So even if you can't see it, that's still the center point of your rotation. Right, so you don't, you don't necessarily need something to be there. Or that could be something else, right? You could, you don't have to make that a square. It could be a circle itself. So I could just come in here and round these, round these off. I could come to this rectangle and round off its corners. All right. So now I have that rounded off. I can rotate that and I've got both of those together so I can go back in here and manipulate these however I choose to which is actually pretty awesome 
So that's a quick way to be able to control your center rotation point inside of Figma. So it's really like a little bit of a hack because you're not actually moving that, you're not actually moving that center point of your object. You're just moving where your alignment of everything else is in relation to that first component that you make. But this is nice because in here you could put whatever you want it to inside of this frame. Or if you wanted to add text to it, you could say like 9 p.m. And you could, if I were doing this though, I would, first thing I would say is, is make sure you get this set the way you want first and then drag this stuff inside of there. So you can see I've added in that text that I had and because that text is inside of that component, you'll see that it follows my, basically the rotational angle of that component now. But this is a cool way to be able to kind of set up your own pivot point inside of Figma without using any plugins at all. Hope this has been helpful for you.